Houston, we have a problem. My closet has become a hazard to my health. Today, we're fixing this. I have a confession to make. I'm a shoe hoarder and my shoe hoarding tendencies are not helped by the fact that I am a fashion blogger and I work with a lot of brands. I get sent a lot of clothing. I also do a fair amount of my own shopping because I just love shoes. Here's the issue. I've never actually gone through my closet and decluttered my shoes. We have done a bunch of closet declutters in the past of my clothes or the shoes. I don't know why. Welcome to the video that I have been promising to do for over a year now. Hi, if you're new, my name is Jessica. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. And here on YouTube, I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty lifestyle, and travel. I literally cannot walk into my closet because the entire floor is just covered in shoes because they can't even fit in the shelves and cubbies that I have in my closet for my shoes. So. We have reached a level of shoe hoarding that is not sustainable anymore. Hey, you're gonna hang out with me. We're gonna go through all of my shoes, my entire shoe collection, and we are going to get rid of a lot, I hope, I hope. Here's the criteria that I'm gonna be using for decluttering my shoes. Number one, biggest one, do they fit? So many times, I can't even tell you how many times, I have bought a pair of shoes that were like nine and a half, so like slightly too small because I loved them so much, but they didn't have my size and I was like, oh, I'll just make it work. No, the reality is when shoes are too small, I just won't wear them. And I'm sure I'm definitely not alone in that. Second thing is, speaking of things being uncomfortable, is do these shoes make my feet hurt in some way, shape or form? I have definitely held on to a lot of shoes that I know for a fact when I wear them, I am miserable or they give me blisters every time, but I just don't get rid of them because I'm like, oh, but they look so cute with such and such outfit. No, we're not doing that anymore because nothing is worse than when some aspect of your shoe is making you uncomfortable. So that's criteria number two. Number three, does it spark joy? Yes, thank you, Marie Kondo. Probably a lot of shoes in there that I hold on to because of some dumb reason. I never end up wearing them, even though I've been just clutching at them and keeping them for so long and having them take up space in my life. So we're really gonna take a look at the shoes in there, see if they really are something that I'm into. Does it really go with my current style, with what I like to wear? Have I reached for them in years? That's gonna be number four. Like, when was the last time I wore these shoes? <sighs> We got a lot to get through. I'm gonna go into my closet and grab uh, shoes in different categories and we're gonna do it category by category so as to not, you know, make this entire room a complete show. Boots, like tall ones, then like booties and shorter boots. Heels, like pumps, and then we'll do like heeled sandals, regular sandals, flats, and sneakers. And if I can think of a different category, we'll do that too, but I'm pretty sure I covered it all. So I've already got my tall boots behind me. I recorded this intro already and I recorded myself bringing them in here hilariously and then I deleted it accidentally, so yeah. I also want to do a fun game where we tally up all the shoes that I have. So I'm going to make sure to keep it a running total as the video goes along because I'm really curious to see like how many pairs of shoes that I have. I'm sure we're all going to be very disgusted. Starting off with one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I will not be getting rid of, my Stuart Weitzman Island over the knee boots. Uh, these boots are so beautiful. They really satisfy my over the knee boot need. They're high, but very comfortable. And a pair of boots that I'm going to probably get rid of, I find that I have like kind of duplicates of things and I don't need to have duplicates of shoes. Like you just don't. Bought this pair of Steve Madden over the knee black boots years ago uh, before I found those on crazy sale at Marshall's. And these are fine, but the problem is they just, they're kind of uncomfortable. And these are a way lower heel than these. I think we're gonna let these go. They also don't stay over, like up my leg, over my knee. They start slouching and I have to keep pulling them up. So yeah, we're going off to a good start. We're getting rid of a pair. Next pair is a Michael Kors, uh, Michael by Michael Kors pair of boots. I thrifted these and I thought they were such a great find. They are a really good pair of boots, but they're nine and a half. So they're not really my size. They're very slouchy, which is fine, but I find that th these boots, like I don't wear them because I think they make me look kind of like slouch. They make me look slouchy when I wear. I hate to give up something that's like such a beautiful material like suede. Just, I never reach for them and I just, I can't keep that around. I'm trying to be brutally honest with myself. God, I thrifted these as well. I thought these were so cool when I found them. They're very like 80s. Look at the detail that's on the boot. I mean, it's cool but the heels themselves are just beat up. I think that's something a cobbler could definitely fix if I really wanted to. 
I don't know, they're kind of a cool pair of vintage boots. Stick these over to the maybe because honestly, I forgot that I owned these. Oh, excuse my dinky mirror. I'm gonna get a, a new one in a couple days. It's a little bit bigger, but trying on these boots, they feel really uncomfortable. And also the heel that I showed you that was messed up on them, it just feels really unstable to stand in them. So these are going to go. So this next pair I think was one of the first Nordstrom anniversary sale purchases I ever made. Like when I got really into it many years ago as a baby fashion blogger. And I bought these at the height of the like over the knee boot trend craze, but they didn't really give me the look that I wanted, which was like, cause they have this like cut out part in the back. They're still cute, but worn them in forever. And these are suede as well. Maybe we'll try them on and see how we feel about them, but I think they're gonna be a no. So these I also thrifted years ago, and I don't think I'm gonna get rid of these, even though I haven't really reached for these in forever, but it's mostly because I kind of forgot about them. They were in the back corner of my closet. But leather, I mean, look at that beautiful detailing. Uh, they're just kind of a cool alternative to a riding boot. They're kind of a Western vibe go with a lot of stuff. This sort of vibe has been cool for a while. So I'm kind of annoyed that I haven't been taking advantage of these. Like how cute would these be with like a cute boho maxi dress or something? Another pair of over the knee boots. These are flat though. I definitely think these are giving 2016. They are really comfortable and they're very gently used. These might need to go in the maybe. I, I might need to try them on. Maybe I need to try them on in comparison with these because they are both like dark gray. So if I keep a pair it's gonna be one or the other. Both of the gray boots on simultaneously because I wanna see how I look or feel in them. I was leaning more towards the flat ones, but now that I have them on, like they're definitely a no for me. I just don't see myself wearing skinny jeans with like knee high, thigh high boots over them. These I think could be something. I don't know, the, the toe of them is a little bit outdated but I don't hate the way that they look on. I don't think I can ever part with these boots. These are these fun moccasins. They're suede for sure from the Minnetoka Moccasin Company. My grandmother got me these, I think for Christmas one year, because I really wanted them in like 2007 or something when these were just like everything. I don't think I want to get rid of these. They just have sentimental value and they're comfortable as hell. And honestly, I think I would wear these for sure. And watch, they're gonna come back in style. And then I'm gonna be so mad that I got rid of mine. That is the worst justification for keeping something. These are my Sorels, Joan of Arcadia snow boots. I will be definitely keeping these. I use these every time we go up skiing. Two pairs of lace up combat looking boots. Well, I don't know if they, I would both categorize both of these as combat boots, but they have different vibes. And I think I'm going to keep both of them. These are stunning. Um, they're these like riding boots that have this lace up up the side and they're obviously a dark brown and they're leather and they're just beautifully made. I think a good riding boot is something that you can have in your wardrobe and it just, they might not always be like the height of fashion every year, but they're always gonna be kind of a classic thing to own. So also have this pair, which is a black tall combat boot. I recently got these from aerosols, definitely keeping these because I'm in love with them. And again, I think this is kind of a classic style and it's kind of cool and edgy. And I love these boots so much. Hunter rain boots. I don't use them often living in LA, but when it does rain, I need these because it floods here a lot. So I actually used these yesterday because it was raining. Just bought these from Express and I love them. So they are staying. These are also kind of a recent this year uh, find. These are from Dolce Vita. They're suede. They're just, you know, kind of like squared off roundish toes, knee high. They're classic. This is a pair that I think I will have for a long time just because it's it's basic, but it's classic. I really hate to be this person because I'm trying not to have duplicates of things, but I don't know. I don't know where the other boot is for this pair. It's somewhere. I can't find it, but I have two pairs of knee-high beigey white cream colored boots. This is a cheapy pair from Lulu's and this is a nicer pair from Seychelles, which is like leather, um, definitely a lot better quality, but these just have like a look to them. They're kind of like I don't know, they're very casual. These I have worn half to death because they just look a little bit more sleek. They they look a little bit more dressed up. Even though these are really beat up, I'm gonna keep these because I wear them all the time. And I'm gonna keep these too because I wear these pretty often as well. And they're just, they're gorgeous and they're pretty classic looking. So 
I can't part with these just yet. These next two are recent boot buys from Amazon and um, they're both very super trendy. So the first pair I am definitely going to keep for a little bit at least because I haven't worn them yet, but they're like these crazy platform knee-high boots. Last but not least, these neon green boots. Faux crocodile. I mean, they're fun. They're honestly not uncomfortable at all. And you're not going to get hit in traffic in these because these are bright. Am I going to keep these forever? No, but I just got them and I want the chance to like wear them out more before I try to sell them. Oh my God. There's a lot in here. I think it's safe to say I have a little bit of an obsession with boots. Oh my god. I, I don't even know. Okay, let's just get into it. These, love. Haven't worn them in forever though, but I think I'm gonna keep them in the maybe pile. I just love that embroidery on them. It's a very similar boot, but I feel like they look kind of sad, you know? And they're so short ankled, like the shortest ankled Chelsea boots I've ever seen. Is it me? I just don't think that it is. We should get rid of them. They have definitely seen better days. I love me some white shoes, white boots, white sneakers. You're going to see the white sneakers soon. I've got these two pairs of white boots. This was the first pair that I ever got, like when white boots started to like become a thing. And they're from Forever 21. They are beat to crap. So we are going to say bye bye to these without any hesitation. These are also kind of looking worse for the wear just because I have worn the crap out of them, but I don't have a better alternative right now and they're they're passable. So we're gonna keep these because I do love these a lot. Oh my God. These, I think I used to wear like almost every day of my freaking life. Look at the heel of them. I mean, it is pretty rare that I have a pair of shoes that I have worn out that much. They're from Shoe Mint. Does anybody remember Shoe Mint? Wow, that is some 2013, 2012 stuff right there. These are gonna go, because I haven't worn them in a long, long time. These are also a pair that I used to wear so much. I seriously was obsessed with these heels, like the fact that they're like an open cage looking thing. They're from Forever 21, but they gotta go. Yep. These I got gifted to me when I went to Fashion Week about a million years ago. They are so uncomfortable. I literally never wear them, so they're gonna go. This pair is just a classic, you know, Mark Fisher, suede. It's, I mean, this cognac color, definitely keeping these because it's just a good classic style to have. Never, ever getting rid of these gorgeous Betsy Johnson rhinestone booties. That I these are, I mean, I like the idea of them. I like that they're metallic gold, but they're actually <clears throat> rose gold. So if I'm gonna have a pair of metallic gold shoes, like I want them to be gold and not rose gold because rose gold doesn't really go with a lot of my stuff. So I remember when I first found these at Target, I was obsessed with them. I thought this was like so cool. No, definitely gonna hold on to these little snakeskin booties because you know, a good snakeskin booty is good to have. I feel like I have a lot of black boots and I'm still searching for like the perfect black boot. And you can see that in my purchases over the years. I've this pair isn't bad. I wanna say I got these at Zara. I may keep these just because they are so simple. A pair I cannot find the other one to at this moment, but I'm gonna get rid of them. I mean, I think the heel is kind of funky, but it's also kind of cheesy at the same time. These are, I really like these actually. They're a little bit tall for me for like an, a good everyday black booty. That's what I'm saying. Like I need like a good dependable black booty that, you know, is classic. That's also comfortable enough to just throw on. These tend to be a little bit more taller than I want for like just kind of running around errands, but they're still nice. They're leather and they were from Forever 21, which is pretty surprising that Forever was selling like leather shoes, but a good black Chelsea boot is something that you just, you can't go wrong with and is a pretty classic style. This style I bought a couple of years ago. It, this was so trendy, like in 2020, 2020, I want to say. Definitely like all these people came out with dupes of the Bottega Veneta boot that's similar to this with this big chunky lug sole. And I don't hate them, but here is the thing. I recently, well, last year, got a pair of the Doc Martin Jadens, which is a very similar idea of a boot. Very chunky sole, you know? Like, 
okay? Obviously, it's different. This one's a lace-up combat boot. This one is a Chelsea-style pull-on boot. I just love these. Obviously, this is a much more worthwhile boot to have because it's Doc Martens and these were like random ASOS. So I think I'm going to get rid of these because I just don't think this is me. And if I really want to do this vibe, which sometimes I do, the like I'm edgy vibe, then I've got these. Now I feel kind of silly talking about those docs and trying to have no like duplicate boots in my wardrobe, but I have this pair of combat boots from Seychelles and I'm going to keep both pairs because this pair kind of satisfies something a little bit different. I mean, it's a lot more of a slim boot. It's more like slim profile. It's got a little bit of a heel on it, whereas this is just like a big chunky boot. So do you see how they're just two different vibes? And I feel like I want both vibe options. Now, before I got my real Doc Martens, I found a dupe on Amazon because y'all know that's what I do. They're actually like not bad. I get rid of this pair because I never reach for them anymore. Last little combat boot-esque boot that I have. This was another purchase from the Nordstrom anniversary sale like years ago. <clears throat> and I liked them at the time. I still don't hate them. If I'm gonna wear this style of shoe, I feel like I'm just gonna wear a combat boot. I just don't know if I really ever wear these. I'll put these in the maybe pile. I have a whole slew of hiking boot style boots. Pair I found Urban Outfitter Surplus Store in Sherman Oaks, which is like basically an outlet store for Urban Outfitters, you can find stuff for really cheap. They were like $5 and I cannot resist a deal. And at the time I didn't have any shoes like this yet. So I grabbed them and I don't like hate them. Honestly, I think I wore them to Coachella one year because they're like fabric and eyelet. They're such a specific kind of shoe. And I don't know. Now that I'm looking at them, they're kind of cute, but I know I should not keep these. So I'm gonna get rid of them. This pair of white combat boots that are more like a combat boot so they make more sense. But I'm wondering like, is this me? I got my pair of actual hiking boots, which I got recently. I'll link these actually in the description box if you're interested. But I never knew how life-changing having a pair of real hiking boots was when you're hiking. Go figure, like they grip so much better than sneakers. Who knew? I think I resisted getting hiking boots for a while because they're always really ugly, like real hiking boots. They're just, they're not attractive, but I saw these and I'm like, okay. These are doable. I've got two pairs of fashion, no, three pairs of fashion hiking boots, two of which are so similar. So this pair is my newer pair. This is from Vince Camuto. I really like these. I think they're cute. They're very comfortable to wear. And then I also have this pair of Timberlands, Timberlands that I've had for years. I did a campaign with Timberland like years ago and was given these. Um, so I'm like debating if I keep these or if I keep these because obviously this is like your classic hiking boot style it's still got the cute shearling accent it's this nice you know tan suede but then you have these which are more of like a combination between a hiking boot and a motorcycle boot still has the shearling and i believe these are also suede i don't want to keep both pairs because it's silly for me to keep both pairs i'm more inclined to keep these because i know i reach for them and i've worn them and i know for a fact these have been sitting around for literally years without being worn i may put these on my poshmark just because they're in pretty great shape and they're timberlands so maybe they'll sell i have this pair which is a pretty recent uh addition these are from aerosols i'm not 100 percent sure about these i thought that i was really going to like them and now that i have them they're kind of weird to wear just because the color is a little bit strange and where the boot hits it's kind of weird with like the jeans that I wear. So sometimes I have a hard time finding jeans to wear with these, but we're going to keep them because they're so new and I want to give them more of a chance than they've, than they've had. Now we're getting into the Western boot category. I don't know how I have so many boots that are like a Western vibe, but somehow I do. And I don't really think I really need to have that many. These are very like light Western and they're recent and I love them. So we're going to keep them. These are like mule boots. They're gonna go. Okay. I mean, just wow. They're they're crushed velvet with metallic gold. Yeah, no questionable fashion choices by moi. Now these, on the other hand, these are actually a very beautiful pair of boots. These are from Mezcalero, which is a company out of Mexico. They're all like handmade Western boots. I mean, look at the detail on these. That is stunning. I'm definitely keeping these because they're just, they're dope. I also have this pair in white, which is kind of the same idea as the Mescalero ones. Definitely not nearly as uh, quality or expensive, but they're really comfortable and 
they're kind of cute. So I got to keep these. I also wore these in a horror movie that I made a couple years ago. So it's kind of memories too. Like 2012 Coachella. Like what is this? These got to go. I remember I thrifted these so long ago and thought these were such a cool find. They're from that brand Freebird, which is like a free people brand. They're leather. And then there's this, what would you call this? It looks like a blanket you would buy in Mexico. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put these in the maybe pile because I haven't worn them in a long time, but I've also totally forgotten that I have them. And I think they have potential to be pretty cool with certain things. I don't know. That's pretty unique. Maybe pile is a pair of just, you know, black cowboy boots. They're pretty simple. They got a little bit of detailing on them, but I'm going to keep these just because I feel like black cowboy boots. They're simple. They're plain classic. You never know when you're going to need them. That was a really bad justification, Jessica, but I'm going to keep them because they're comfortable and yeah, Western boots are still kind of a thing right now. Ooh, another pair I'm keeping. These are also from Miss Calero. These are so gorgeous. Just like they kind of came like antiqued looking. They look a little discolored, you know, but that's how they, they were made to be. These, I do not know. They're really fun, but I don't wear them very often because they are so high. Like a four inch stiletto is not something that I'm really thrilled to wear. And when I do wear them, I, they're really pointy toe too. So they tend to be uncomfortable. And I feel as though I, when I wear them, I don't want to wear them somewhere where I know I'm going to have to be standing a lot or walking a lot. So that really cuts down my options of occasions and places to wear these. They are fabulous though. We're going to put this in the maybe pile. Now we have like sort of random miscellaneous boots. These are kind of gorgeous. I love that they're this beautiful maroon. They've got the faux croc here and the solid on the front. So we're going to keep those. Both of these pairs are kind of similar. They're a little bit more vibrant of a maroon than those previous ones. This pair I had to buy from Zara when I went to fashion week one time and JetBlue lost my luggage. So I had to go do a little shopping spree at Zara while I waited for my luggage to catch up with me at fashion week. Can you imagine? I'm going to get rid of these because they have definitely seen better days. They're really beat up and I haven't worn them in forever. So I'm going to hold on to these because this is sort of a somewhat recent purchase from Amazon. I have yet to wear them, but they're comfortable and they're really pretty. And I like the sort of sock boot style of them. They are faux suede, but they're nice. So those are going to stay. I probably should have mentioned these in the Western section because these are definitely very Western, but I love these so much. These are fire. Love. Keep. And was it 2014, 2015 when these boots were so popular? These like blue velvet Steve Madden boots. I don't know if I want to keep these because I have not worn them in years and I actually did wear them for a photo shoot somewhat recently and hated every second they were on my feet. They're not comfortable. I mean, look at how high that heel is. It's pretty high. So for boots, I just don't really love having boots that aren't comfortable to walk in. I don't know. We'll put them in the maybe pile. This pair of boots <laughs> was definitely a weird random Amazon find that I was like, yeah, that looks awesome. This honestly looks like something that you might find in free people. I don't hate it. I mean, I think they're kind of like interesting and different, but you can't really wear them with a whole lot. So you're not going to get a lot of use out of them. And yeah, they're, they're just very specific. So I think I'm going to go ahead and part with these. Last but not least, my two pairs of pink booties. They're obviously very different colors. These are more of like a uh, orangey warm pink and these are definitely a way more like bluish pink. I don't know. I feel like I should only keep one pair. I'm more inclined to get rid of these because they were like the cheaper of the two. At this point I'm pretty proud of myself because if you look at the pile of what I'm keeping slash maybes and what I'm absolutely not keeping they look pretty even in this category. So I from appearances, it looks like I've at least decimated my booties collection by about half, which I mean, I'm doing pretty good. I have a really hard time letting go of things. So I'm proud of myself so far. Ah! Work smarter, not harder. I don't think I could have ever anticipated having this many shoes. So for the sake of our sanity, we're gonna split this video in half. The only way I'm gonna get through the rest of this tonight is if I have wine, so. That's what's happening. On to the open toe shoes. <laughs> <laughs>